Hey guys, it's Rene. So I bought this silicone craft mat at Hobby Lobby and I thought I'd share my like thoughts and opinions after using it. This is what the box looks like. It's $9.99. It's pretty affordable, I think, for what it is. It's for crafts. You can paint over it. Use your hot glue gun and it's not for like food. So this is what the mat looks like. It's blue. I think it's a really pretty color. And this is what it looks like uh, on the desk which is kind of like a good size, I think, like a standard, but good size. It gives you plenty of space to work on. So the first thing that I noticed when I opened this and touched it is that it catches every single fuzz there is, every single little hair, every single little, you know, dust, every fluff, it catches everything. And you can feel it when you touch it. Like it doesn't feel smooth. It feels like it's dirty, kinda. It kind of feels like it has like a coat of like dust and you have to undust it, that kind of thing. So yeah, I try to go outside to just show you for the daylight so you can kind of see and get an idea on what it looks like. So this one you have to clean before you use it every single time. And I try to use a damp cloth, but it only like makes the little hairs harder to remove. So the best way to uh, clean this is just blow and just blow every single time while you're working with it. And after you're done, because again, it's silicone, it's going to be sticky. So it's going to be like attracting every dust, everything. But that's kind of like the biggest challenge or downside that I saw on this one is how to keep this cleaner. If you have one of this and you have like another cleaning method, please let me know. First, I'm going to be testing this with my clay. I'm using personal clay. That's the kind of clay that I tend to use. But I tested this with polymer clay and it's pretty much the same result. I'm going to be using some cookie cutters that I use for crafts and fondant and I clean them in between. And before I would use wax paper or parchment paper as opposed to this mat. And this is why I bought it because it can become kind of wasteful. When I was rolling my clay, it felt really, really smooth, really soft, pretty easy. Nothing was sticking as when you are rolling with wax paper. You have to hold your wax paper so it doesn't stick to the clay that you're rolling. This didn't happen with this one maybe because the mat is heavier than wax paper itself cutting shapes with this one was pretty easy pretty easy just so smooth and it was meant for this kind of smooth it says in here do not cut i'm not going to be using a really heavy duty knife i'm just using an exacto knife because i do cut my clay shapes it cut it really smooth and the mat didn't break my clay the kind of clay that i use hardens with air which means that i don't have to bake anything so this is not going to be like, like the same result with polymer clay because polymer clay you have to bake it and then see the final result. And one thing that I called my attention was when my clay was dry as I mentioned before I used to use wax paper to work under and I just let my clay figures dry over my wax paper but because my clay is kind of wet consistency over the wax paper once it was getting dry it would wrinkle like the paper itself therefore it would wrinkle my clay like shape and it would never dry this flat it would always have like a wave almost to it so it was real cool to see that like it dried flat and i really liked it for that It says in here not intended for food and they were probably referring to like baking cookies like don't bake uh, cookies with this but i'm going to be testing this with fondant because to me fondant and clay have like kind of like the same consistency so um the fondant that i've used is this one by welton by the way i made a review on this one working on the other side because this one was for clay rolling this with my mat underneath was pretty smooth easy all went smooth and just like so so easy again i used to work with a wax paper underneath my fondant and i would have to hold it in this one because again my mat is heavier than wax paper it doesn't move so again, using my same cookie cutters, I cleaned them after. It was so easy, such a dream to do this with this math because it was so easy to move like the cookie cutter itself to just cut through the fondant. The same with my exacto knife. The cat was so easy and smooth and I'm not actually putting a lot of pressure on the uh, exacto knife. Like I'm not trying to cut the mat itself, I'm just trying to cut my fondant. And again, my fondant didn't wrinkle like underneath as it usually does with my wax or parchment paper. Remember that I told you that this mat grabs every single fuzz and every single like dust, anything? The funny part of this is that the final result doesn't have any of that in there. So I would say just it doesn't really transfer. But if you're really concerned concerned about you know your fondant that people are gonna be eating having dust or fuss or just use it for fondant. It says in here that matte works for paint
paint as well so i'm just going to be testing this i'm going to be painting this phone case idea that i'm going to be uh, posting later so keep an eye on that and purposely i'm going to be well placing my fresh painted uh, phone case in there just so that i can have a mark and i can clean it wait for my paint to dry but it was actually really easy to clean and this carbon pad only had water on it i didn't even have to add soap to it it also says that you can work with hot glue gas going directly pretty much with my hot glue i just wanted to see what happened if it burned if it left a mark i could remove it like so easily and didn't leave a mark didn't burn didn't nothing happen it's like if i didn't do anything at all but yeah i love this mat the only thing that you have to be cleaning this cleaning before and after each project but other than that i really love it i am glad i went for it and yeah i'm not gonna be needing wax paper or parchment paper in a long time it's lightweight it doesn't smell like anything and if you love painting and crafts like i do or if you have kids this is a good uh, surface to protect your table i really hope you like this and you found this helpful if you did don't forget to give this video thumbs up let me know down below check out more reviews that i have on my channel subscribe for more and share this thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye